Good morning, Penny family. My name is Langston Ware, and I'm sure that you've seen my family around the church. Um, and uh, I'm excited to come before you guys and talk this time in relation towards World Mission. Um, I serve as a co-chairman on the World Missions Board, and one of the things that we've been uh, doing for these past couple of months, uh, for September and October, is something called World Missions Offering. I think what I'd like to do before uh, we jump right into uh, showing you guys a quick video clip is making you guys understand kind of, uh, you know, what is WMO and what goes towards uh, this organization that we support for missions. IM does not ask global servants to raise all the funding that they need, but comes alongside them in financial support as well as ministry. Uh, giving towards World Mission Organization is the best way to make sure that you give to everybody and everything at IM. Whenever personalized funding falls short, WMO gives gifts to fill the gap, keeping global servants in the field and covering ministry expenses such as education, visas, and passports. WMO fills also the gaps in funding for other IM expenses, supporting global servants with training and pastoral care, enabling IM um, to address crisis as they arise, and much more. So there's a couple stories, I'm not going to read all of them, but you'll see this in the video that you're about to watch, um, of just some really encouraging um, missionaries that are doing some great work uh, uh, for the Lord. So again, these are just bits and pieces of how uh, World Missions offerings go towards. Two things um, that I'd like to leave with you guys uh, that you can definitely do is always pray for um, the leaders um, that are within uh, WMO. One of the biggest things that we should do is always to be praying for our leaders. Um, and then the other one is giving. So uh, definitely check in your pews right now. You sh there should be an envelope that's uh, right behind your pews that you guys can also tend to. If you have any other questions, definitely make sure you check out as well, worldmissionoffering.org. And lastly, I'd like to leave you guys with a scripture verse, 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. He says, I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may be, live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. May God bless you guys through these months. And again, thank you guys so much for your support and uh, what you guys do for Penny. Show up and show us your intentions, our value, our worth, and that's relational ministries. That's showing up and showing people that they're important. Showing up and showing people that we're, we're the same in the eyes of God. And that God has called us to advance His kingdom together. We haven't come here to teach them or to do their work. We've come here to walk alongside them mm -hmm. as they are light and as they are um, uh, sold in their communities. Our primary ministry here is leadership development. Um, and, and so that includes a whole realm of, of different, um, different ministries. We work with pastors um, and help them with, uh, to advance their education. Um, we, we have the privilege um, as well as going out and working with women's ministries. One of the joys of ministry so far is um, when we are able to communicate with an elder person from the community that does not speak a lick of Spanish. You know, it brings me joy um, to know that the Lord has helped us to, to be able to speak those words. Y los niños comienzan a llegar a las ocho y media de la mañana. Sí. Eh, ellos reciben sus ayudas en la tutoría. Cuando nosotros comenzamos el programa, pensábamos que ellos tenían desventaja en el aprendizaje. Pero cuando ellos empezaron a llegar, yo me di cuenta que no tenían problemas de aprendizaje, que el problema era que no se alimentaban bien. Cuando yo descubrí que ellos no podían estudiar bien porque porque no comían bien, entonces decidimos abrir el programa de alimentación para que ellos pudieran tener una comida caliente al día, segura, y que eso les ayudara con su proceso de aprendizaje. For me, being a missionary is just loving God's children in a different part of the world. We just get to love on people. And we believe that's what Jesus has called us to, uh, is to meet people where they are, show up in people's lives and build relationships with people and they'll see the kingdom of God because it's here.